I really can't recommend that store highly enough. A couple more visits and you'll find that the fur on your tail is silky smooth. A gorgeous tail like yours deserves lots of tender, loving care. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, no need. I'm not <coughs> interested in that kind of thing. You say that, but do I see your ears saying otherwise? Although your tail isn't professionally maintained, the fur doesn't look dry and coarse. To me, this says you like to take care of it. I'm also guessing that you like to curl up into a fetal position and hug your fluffy tail tight as you go off to sleep. How do you know? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. I'm a high-ranking general of Watatsumi Island. How could I do such a thing? Oh, it's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. The desire to cuddle up to a soft tail while sleeping is quite natural. Really? W wait, no. Why are we still on this topic? In fact, why am I even here talking about tails with you in the first place? Why? Because you are blessed with a wonderful fluffy tail, that's why. I think it's very cute. Ugh, I'm trapped. How do I get out of this? It's you! Oh, thank goodness. Please save me. Oh, and how is my favorite little one doing, hmm? I didn't expect to meet you here. We were just talking about tails. Goro has a beautiful tail, don't you think? Doesn't it make you want to stroke it? <laughs> Don't be nervous. Just follow your heart's desire. He's not going to fall for it. We've fought side by side. Uh, pardon me. Lady Gucci, we have completed the matter you instructed us about previously. We have selected a very skilled artist to be in charge. I'm confident that the finished product will be to your satisfaction. I'll take a look later, and if everything's in order, place it in front of the store. All right, I won't tease the two of you any further. Do make the most of your trip here, won't you? Quite a lot has changed. <laughs> I wish you both a fun-filled time on Narukami Island. There was definitely something strange about the way she looked at me in the end there. Could she be plotting something? Sorry that you had to see that. The real reason I'm here at Yai Publishing House is to buy some books for Her Excellency. Since Watatsumi Island signed a peace treaty with the Shogunate, we've had much closer contact than we did before. I also wanted to come and see what things are like in an area ruled by the Shogunate. I hadn't counted on running into her. I've interacted with her a few times before, but I can't say I've ever gotten used to it. I've never been good at dealing with people like her. The way she towers over me and speaks so cryptically, something about her is strangely intimidating. I could probably deal with her in battle, but I don't know where to start when I run into her in normal life. I guess this is a weakness of mine. You're right. I've heard Her Excellency say the same thing before. In any battle, you need to think about how to avoid your shortcomings. As long as I don't come into contact with Yai Miko, everything should be fine. Really? <sighs> well, it's a relief to hear that. In that case, I still have some business to take care of with the Yai Publishing House. They run a monthly magazine called That's Life, which has an advice column. Readers write in about their problems, and I'm responsible for responding to them. I'm not quite sure why they chose me, but it's my job now, and I can't give it up just like that. 
Yai and Miko just handed me the latest batch of readers' letters. Uh, let's find a place to write the replies, then pack them up and send them back to Yai Publishing House. Huh. This place looks nice and quiet. Why don't we write the replies here? The sooner I get them finished and handed back to the publisher, the sooner we can go do something else. I just hope I don't have another run-in with, uh, you-know-who at the Yai Publishing House later. Anyway, the writing could take me some time. The questions I receive are often so strange that I have to think long and hard about how to best answer them. Great. Let's write the replies together. I'm actually interested to hear your perspective. Let me see here. Mm. Uh, let's start with this one. Today, a new guy came to our village. He was good-looking and had a lovely voice. When I peeked at him from behind the door, I felt my cheeks getting hotter, and my heart started beating faster and faster. <sighs> See, I can tell right away that this is exactly the kind of question I'm no good at dealing with. The letter seems to be from a young lady, which is not a demographic where I can offer much expertise. What's your take? Hmm, well, I don't know what it's like to be in love, but if you say so, I think it makes sense. I'll reply like this then. <clears throat> it's likely that the feelings you're experiencing right now won't occur many times in your life. I urge you to summon the courage to seize this opportunity and see where it takes you. No matter where that may be. What? Really? But that's how it is in battle, too. Opportunities to seize victory are fleeting. When they arise, you have to capitalize on them right away. I imagine it's the same in love. That's my suggestion, anyway. Uh, come on, let's read the next letter. My neighbor is always borrowing money from me, but never seems to be able to pay me back on time. I have tried subtly raising the issue in conversation several times, but he always finds a way to dodge my questions. He was kind to me when I was young. I don't want to make things ugly, but the money issue bothers me a lot. Please help me. Mm, if this is a dispute between neighbors, it must be settled as soon as possible. It's like when conflict arises between generals in the army. The proper policy is to resolve it without delay. The most important thing in military regulations is fairness. It is only right to pay back a debt. I want to suggest that the writer demands their money back in no uncertain terms. Do you think that makes sense? Okay, so let's reply along those lines. Let me think. Hmm... How about this? <clears throat> it is good that you want to repay your neighbor's kindness, but be aware that you can find other ways to do this that don't involve lending them money. Right now, the most important thing for you to do is demand your money back. Being kind does not mean allowing your neighbor to walk all over you. Okay, and we are done with that letter. The next one seems longer. Let me see. Hello, I was born on Narukami Island and now I'm a soldier in the resistance. So, this is from one of my troops? Mm, most likely, but I'm not sure who. Before passing any reader's letters on to me, Yai Publishing House has their staff copy each one by hand and redact all names in the process. So I can't be sure who exactly this is. Anyway, let's keep reading. I couldn't turn a blind eye to the Vision Hunt Decree, and my anger drove me to join the Resistance. My comrades and I have fought side by side, and I have formed deep friendships with them. Since we achieved our goal and the war came to an end, I have remained on Watatsumi Island. But this is not my hometown and I often find myself dreaming of the cherry blossoms falling on Narukami Island. I now don't know whether to stay here or return home. The Resistance has treated me well, and I've long been disillusioned by the Shogunate. 
but my hometown tugs constantly at my heartstrings. How should I reply to him? Let me think about it. To be blunt, I obviously don't want any soldiers under my command to leave. But if making them stay causes them pain, how are my actions any different from the Vision Hunt Decree? I suppose I'll reply... Hmm. Narukami Island has changed. You should go back and visit. <sighs> that should do it. I'll be okay. Come on, let's finish the rest of the letters. Thanks to you, writing the responses went very smoothly this time. Let's go and deliver them to the Yai Publishing House, shall we? Ah, great. That's all the replies for this round accounted for. Uh, thank you for all your hard work, Miss He... <clears throat> uh, Mr. Goro. I think nothing of it. I agreed to help, so it's only right that I do the best I can. Could I trouble you to come back to Watatsumi Island with me? I want to find that soldier. Not to persuade them to stay, I just... I don't want them to leave without saying goodbye. Kazuha once told me... General Goro! A and Captain of Swordfish too. General Captain! Are you here to inspect the camp? Uh, not this time. I just thought I'd come by to catch up while everyone has some downtime. Certainly, General Goro. Anything you want to discuss, we'll share whatever we know. But we haven't been out of the camp lately, so <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of interesting stories. Actually, I've had something on my mind and wanted to ask everyone's thoughts on the matter. You see, after the war, Her Excellency streamlined the army and a lot of people were transferred to other duties. Do you still have much contact with each other? Uh, to be honest, not much. We're so busy even with just training and patrolling that it's almost impossible to squeeze in the time to meet up. We, we have holidays, but we usually use them to go home and spend time with our nearest and dearest. And besides, everyone's vacations come at different times and our, our schedules rarely overlap. Yeah, I'm busy when they're free, and they're busy when I'm free. Anyway, even if we did manage to meet up, what then? We all do different jobs now, and we all have new friends who aren't mutually acquainted. <laughs> I'm not sure what we'd talk about. Uh, so that's really how it goes, huh? I know, it's okay. I just... It just seems a pity, that's all. You know, having said all that, there, there's something else that I've always felt about this. Really? Yes. I feel that no matter how long we're apart, and no matter what we might go through in the meantime, all of us will be straight back here if Watatsumi Island is ever in danger. <laughs> Even if we've all changed beyond recognition, we can always trust that we've got each other's backs. And that's one thing that's never gonna change. We're your troops, General Goro. You trained us, you took us into battle, and led the way as we charged against the enemy. Even if we seldom keep in contact now, we are still brothers in arms. If you say the word, we will all pick up our weapons again at a moment's notice. Long live the resistance! <laughs> yes, that's the way it should be. Long live the resistance. I won't disturb you any further. You guys keep training hard. Regarding everything else, I'm sure it'll all be fine. Ah, General Goru, you're here. 
I believe Hiroaki's been hoping to catch you. He's been waiting at the camp for a long time, but never saw you return. Are you planning to head back to camp later? If you're busy, I can go and let him know so he's not waiting there in vain. Tell him I'll be right over. I know what I have to do now. Come with me. Let's head to the camp. Denjiro is right. No matter what changes the future may bring, we will always have each other's backs. Sure, there may be some awkward silences when we meet again can, after a long time, uh, a but in no time at all, we'd be the best of friends again. General Goro, I... I... I would like to request permission to leave the Resistance, sir. I know this may seem very abrupt, and in fact, I've only just made the decision. It's all right. Back then, I had so much hatred for the Vision Hunt Decree, and so much disappointment in Narukami Island for supporting it. But after the war ended, I wanted to go back and visit, but I still couldn't make up my mind. Thanks to Miss Hina's encouragement, I was finally able to find the courage to talk to you about it. Of course, if you disapprove, I'll obey your orders. I, I am your subordinate, after all. Miss Hina? Who's that? It's a long story. Forget it. Never mind her. I approve your application to leave the Resistance. General Goro, I... Come on, don't look so down. It's not like we're never going to see each other again. If you ever have the time, you should come back and visit Watatsumi Island. There's no need to limit yourself to a specific place. Just do what you want to do. No matter where we are, we will always be comrades. Yes, General. I'll take my leave then. Take care of yourself, General Goro. Take care. That was... that was okay. Or should I say, it was for the best. This is how it should be. It should leave you with a smile on your face. Just like this. <laughs>